one of the big questions, even uh, in the immediate aftermath of these bombings in Belgium, was what connection, if any, there was with what happened in Paris. And uh, Susanna De Silva joins us now with, with the, the kinds of connections that investigators seem to be making at this point. Yeah, slowly but surely they are making those connections. It's essentially really a, a grim puzzle that they are trying to put all of the pieces together, who was connected to who, who knew what, who was involved in what, to get a sense. And they are getting the idea that those involved in the Paris attacks were perhaps part of a larger cell than they had initially believed. Now we'll show you a graphic in an effort to try to explain the connections that we have seen so far. Now these three men here are the ones that were seen in that closed circuit television footage at the airport. This man here is dead, blew himself up at the airport, remains unidentified at this point. This is the man in that tan jacket that initially we'd heard today may have been arrested, was not arrested. He is still wanted. He is also the one, as we heard uh, Thomas Dagler report there, had the bomb that was even larger than the other ones that did not go off. Um, also, to take note, when they did search that apartment yesterday, they found enough materials there to make 10 more explosive devices inside. But this man is still on the run. But today, prosecutors saying through fingerprints, they were able to identify the third man in the, involved in the airport Ibrahim El Bakrawi. Now he blew himself up at the airport. He's a 29 year old born in Brussels. They've identified him through fingerprints. They also say that they found a computer nearby where the raids happened yesterday, which essentially had a note from him saying, in a rush, unsure what to do, hunted everywhere, no longer safe, and that if he goes on, he might end up next to him in a cell, seemingly referencing Salah Abdeslam, who was arrested just last week. Now, his brother was involved in the subway attack. Khalid El Bakrawi blew himself up at the subway there. But the connections then go from there to the Paris attacks. He is believed to have rented two different apartments, one that had Salah Abdeslam's fingerprints that was raided last week. Again, Salah Abdeslam one of the suspects involved in those Paris attacks, believed to be um, involved heavily in that. And another apartment that had been raided earlier this year that had the fingerprints of Abdel Hamid Abaoud. He's believed to be the ringleader of the Paris attacks. So the connections between them all seem to be growing. These two brothers seem to have long criminal histories, but nothing until recently related to extremist activities until they conducted these raids and realized some of these other connections. All right, Susanna, thank you very much.